Hey everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel, The Artificial Trainer here. Today we're gonna be going through vase first and last frame generations. This is a really cool one because not only can you do first and last frame, but you can also put a control video in between the first and last frame to really control how the video generates. If you like this type of content, please hit the subscribe button below. Subscribing really helps out the channel, allows me to make more content and help you learn more. So I'm gonna use Artificial Studio for this. It's a tool that I created to help people manage their Comfy UI environments. It essentially lets me manage your Comfy UI environment for you. And any updates that I make to my environment, you get also on the fly. If you don't want to use Artificial Studio, you can head to the Patreon post in the description and all of the model downloads for Vase are in these .sh files. And then there's two workflows, a native version and a wrapper version that you can use. If you open up one of these .sh files, you'll basically see, this is basically code for a Linux machine to download all these files automatically. But if you put this file into ChatGPT and just ask it to parse the file names, the folder paths for the files and the download URLs, it'll just spit out the list of download URLs, where to put them and what to name them and you'll be good to go. All right, so open up Comfy UI. If you're in Artificial Studio, you just go to App Links and go to Comfy UI or just open your own local environment. Download the native version first. If you're in Artificial Studio, all you need to do is type vase and then in the keyframe animation, you'll see the vase native first last and this is your workflow. All right, so I'm gonna use the 1.3B model for this. We can also use the Cosvid Laura, which was just released recently. So this will actually, we'll probably get a generation in under 20 seconds with this method. I have two images here a rhino and then a monkey on the rhino's back. And for the models, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you update the diffusion model to use the native vase model. Remember for native, there is a full model. It's not broken up into two parts like it is for the wrapper. So make sure you use the full model or combined model. For the clip, I'm gonna use the UMT5 FP8 scaled. My Cosvid Laura, I need to make sure I use the 1.3B Cosvid Laura. Make sure your CFG is one if you're using Cosvid and your steps are on four. And then the only other things, and then make sure you have the correct VAE loaded for your environment as well. All right, so we're gonna do 832 by 480 generations. So you change the height and width here. If you're doing a portrait generation instead, just make sure you flip width and height. And then to change the number of frames, you just modify this vase start and end frame node to change how many frames. You can probably do slightly over 81 frames, but um, 81 is generally the max for one. After that, it starts to degrade. So if you go more than 81 frames, you might see hits to quality. All right, and because we're using the 1.3B model, this is probably only gonna take 10 gigabytes of VRAM max, and it's gonna generate in like 20 seconds. All right, so I'll run it and I'll explain kind of what's happening. So this node, one video vase start to end frame, it does two things. It takes our start and our end frame and it inserts gray blank frames in between because that's the format that vase is looking for. And then it also creates this mask, which basically tells the model the first and last frame are known. We want you to use those in the generation, but then all the white frames we want you to generate. All right, so that already ran through. Let's take a look at how long. All right, so 52 seconds. It actually took only about 20 seconds to get this generation. The other time was spent creating this little comparison, but you can see, I mean, under 20 seconds and it's a really, really good generation. I like this model a lot. I think this is a really cool functionality and it works really well. Okay, so that is native. Now let's take a look at wrapper. Okay, so we have a different keyframe. We have different keyframes here. We have this anime person who isn't wearing a mask and then they put a mask on. So for our models, I have Torch Compile on by default because Artificial Studio just installs Torch Compile for you. 
But if you don't have it, make sure that you turn torch compile off, bypass torch compile. And then I'm gonna use the 14B version for this one. So I'm using the FP8 version of 14B. Make sure your Cosvid LoRa, your WAN version model, and your VASE model are all the correct versions. I actually need to select the FP8 because the uh, floating point of the two models needs to match. And so the opposite of native is true here. For the wrapper, it's split into two models. So you have your base WAN model, and then you have the VASE module that's attached to it. And then make sure you're loading the native clip into here. I You can also use the wrapper way of doing it, but I just use the native one so I can save on files. And then for your VAE loader, make sure you're using the wrapper VAE. Okay, and then our first and last frame. So we have our width and our height. If you're not using a horizontal video or if you're not using horizontal keyframes, make sure you flip these so that it's portrait. And then for the number of frames, just make sure to update this number of frames node above the images. All right, so that is everything. So let's run it. And this should only take like a minute to run the 14B with the Cosvid LoRa. And I did run out of VRAM here, so I'm just gonna turn some block swapping on and that should help me fit it. So really, really solid example here. I'll open it up in better quality. So, I mean, you can see that quality. It took less than, it took just, just about a minute for this to run. And I mean, you can see the quality. It's just a really, really cool model. Vase has been super impressive. I mean, the 1.3B model, I was already impressed with that they released a while ago, but this 14B model is, the best that I've used up to now. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope this was helpful. I hope you create some really cool stuff with Vase First Last. Share it in the Discord. If you do create something cool with this video, I always love to see what people are creating. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out, it really helps the channel. Follow me on my other socials. On X, I post what I'm working on ahead of time. So if you want to see what's coming, you can follow me there, follow my Patreon. I have a tier now on Patreon where you can get access to a Patreon only Discord channel. And I'm always going to be answering any questions in there first before any other questions in the channel. So if you want priority help or coaching on anything Comfy UI or Laura training, subscribe to that tier and I'll add you into the Discord. Thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.